An update now on the Putnam County five year old severely burned on Christmas Eve. Nathan Scott was finally taken off a ventilator and is slowly trying to speak. We first told you about Nathan two weeks ago after he was flown from UF Health in Gainesville to Shriners Children's Hospital in Galveston, Texas. Nathan was the victim of an accident at his home Christmas Eve. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny has stayed in touch with Nathan's family. He's joining us live now with new details about Nathan's recovery. Eric? Nathan's mother allowed me to see him via live video feed while he was resting comfortably in his hospital bed. Now, I do want to point out that we are not showing any images of him in the hospital bed uh, per request of the family. Now, although Nathan has medically has uh, is doing a lot better, he still has a long way to go. One month after an explosion sent five-year-old Nathan Scott to the hospital with severe burns to 65% of his body, he's finally off a ventilator and attempting to communicate with his parents. What was his first words? So it's, he's kind of hard to understand right now. He is attempting to talk, but he um, his throat's very sore, so he's mumbling, but he said... Um, no a couple times. He said, Mama. Um, he said, Daddy. Love you. Doctors have already begun a skin grafting process called allograft. So it's cadaver graft. It's donated graft. They have not began doing autograft yet. Autograft is when healthy skin from a burn victim is used to replace skin that was destroyed because of being severely burned. But skin grafting is only part of the recovery and rehabilitation that Nathan will have to undergo. He will also have to learn how to fully talk again, move parts of his body, and function without all of his fingers. Unfortunately, his mom says her son's injuries were so severe that doctors had to amputate four of his fingers on one hand and all of the fingertips on the other hand. This means he will have to undergo physical therapy as well as speech therapy. As for his mom and dad, they're doing much better now that their son is breathing on his own, but say this tragedy has taken its toll on them as well. So physically, yes. I mean, I, was, I got very sick just with the anxiety and um, depression and fear. So um, wasn't eating well, wasn't sleeping well. Um, so we've, we've gotten better and have really rally just to become stronger for him. Um, it's scary. I've never, we've never experienced anything like this, any kind of, even the stress of this, never. Now, thankfully, the Putnam County Fire Department, along with several businesses in Putnam County and Alachua County, have been raising money for both Nathan and his family. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.